Hello, everyone. This is Martin Patella for Life Enthusiast Podcast. And with me today, I have Elijah Free, Master Herbalist at Earth Friend Herbs. And uh, we get the rare pleasure of getting Elijah explaining the products that he's designed and has worked with for decades. These are not just some herbs that somebody put together. These are formulas that have been time tested in a clinical setting. Elijah Free, welcome. Hi there, Martin. Thank you very much. And hi to everybody out there today. Hope you're having a good one. <laughs> yes, I hope the, this lately life has been not quite easy. Oh, we could use all the good hopes we can get. So, Elijah, we were talking about the quality of herbs and, and the attention to detail that you have uh, mm -hmm. put over the years. I asked a simple question such as, uh, when are these things harvested? And <laughs> you started answering, I think it would be of interest to the listener to just learn how you choose the herbs that, that you uh, use okay. in the formula. Well, to start off with, Martin, to say that I am somewhat fanatic about the quality of the herbs that go into our products probably isn't even adequate. I am genuinely OCD about them. Now, being in the field for numbers of decades, I've been able to develop wonderful connections. There are some places I've been ordering since the first five years or so of being in business with Earth Friend, and there's others that we picked up in the last five years with that. Um, the quality of herbs is important. So, for example, you can see, oh, look at a couple of catalogs or online catalogs these days. You might see something, say, like ginger root. And you go, okay, ginger root, Zingabar officinalis is the Latin name. So you look at one house and they go, hey, ours is $12. Well, that's a good price. You look at another house, they're 22 Now, what am I getting for that difference? I'm getting for the $22 guaranteed certified organic product that actually that batch is certified. When we get that, that will be, of course, with the company name on it, it'll have a, a number on it now, or letters. Now, we log that in all the time. So we buy the expensive ginger because it's organic, it's shade dried, it has not been processed. And it has been tested a minimum of four to five times to guarantee how the fact it is Zingabar officinalis, but the purity of it. Also, the fact that that was shade dried. We like a lot of our roots shade dried. Now, when we pay more for that, we absorb some of the cost on that. But it gives us that good of a product. So that's important. Now, harvesting happens all through the year, depending upon what the item is. However, since a lot of our items now come from all around the world, harvesting basically is all year long. So that's changed dramatically. A really good short story here. Oh, I think must have been my first eight or 10 years of practice. I was ordering plastic missile, uh, Chinkis Benedictus. Now we get it and it's in the flowering stage. Well, that was incorrect. So I called the company and they said, well, you know, our people, they just harvest whenever they can. If you want something that's done perfect, you need to go somewhere else. Well, we actually did. Because what happened was that plant should have been harvested before it flowered. As a result, the life force and the chemical nature of it with the alkaloids all went into the flowers to get ready for the seeds to be able to reproduce. The rest of the plant was then highly devoid of the chemical that we wanted in there for it to be active uh, for healing. So everything that comes in, I check out carefully. Now, a lot of stuff I don't need to because we've ordered them for 10, 20, 25 years or more from that company and we know the quality of them and we never have a problem. But basically, I do look at everything that comes in for that. Now, we have four houses in the United States we order from, and we have one in Canada. The Canada house is amazing. 
in what they have is a lot of our exotics. The United States houses don't carry them anymore because there's not much money in them, you see. They have to stock so many more items when they do that kind of selling. So the company, it's actually called Irby's Herbs. In Canada, we get our exotics from. In fact, there's a box sitting on my table that just got here last night. I'm very excited about. It has a Pondurango, our coleus root. Our coleus root comes from India. And I even know where in India it's from. It's grown on a very special organic farm that's right by a, um, a healing center that's been there for hundreds of years. And then they sell that. So just letting you know the extent that we go through to start off with the best product possible. All right. Do you extract these herbs individually, each one of them? No, we do them in formulas. When I first started the practice, many, many, many years ago in New York Company, we did. But the formulas then, they were fluid. We make go, oh, we got a great idea. Let's try this. So we used to have at one point 111 separate tincture bottles that filled the room. Now we do them by the formula. So let's say a formula like fiber wheels that has five herbs in it or four, four herbs in it. Well, that one we tincture by all mixed together. Then we do that like that, which saves an awful lot of space and time, believe me. Mm -hmm. All right, great. So um, we have some new products that we would like to introduce to the market. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, it's quite exciting that we actually get to address areas that we previously were not able to. And the first one I'd like to talk about has to do with parasitic infections. You have a product you called Vermifuge. Vermifuge, yes. And it needs to be used quite differently from all the others, right? Well... The thing about parasites is this. First of all, it's very good to be diagnosed that you have parasites. A common stool test will do it. Lots of people think that they have parasites just off the top. There was a very famous healer, oh God, 50, 60 years ago. She was around for many, many years. To her, everything was parasites. If you had a cold, it was parasites. If you had a miscarriage, it was parasites. If you had cancer, it was parasites. Now, while I agree that a lot of people have them, parasites is not the bane of everything in our existence. I wish it was, it would make things very easy, but they're yeah. not. Now, it sounds, it sounds, sounds like the story that uh, to a man with a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Exactly, but there are wonderful healers through our last hundred years or so that would just latch on to one aspect and go, this is everything. I tried it, not, not exactly like that, but in my first year, of course, I read that and I went, well, this is interesting. As it turned out in my practice, it didn't work that way. So I'm assuming it wasn't just my practice because I talked to other people in the arts too, and they did not get the results that we had hoped. Now, in treating parasites, okay, most parasites usually are in your intestines. You can get some in blood, some in lungs. You can get liver flukes. You can get all kinds of things. Uh, Jardia, oh my God, the list is endless with it. So here's how you have to work with this. So you have gone to a proper place for diagnosis and they tell you, hey, you've got some parasites, you've got a worm or two, and you have these. Now, all of these little critters lay eggs. And I have to tell you, with all of my experience, it really seems Mother Nature really likes those little critters and really likes those eggs because they're not easy to get rid of. I'll tell you that. So what you do is you look on your calendar and you find where the next full moon is. You start working with the herbifuge formula one week before the full moon. Now, here's the reason why. Most parasites, not all of them, of course, but the majority of parasites from what I've read, lay eggs on the full moon. 
So what happens if you start at the wrong time and you just go for one month? Well, you may miss the egg laying cycle. Also, guaranteed, if you have the wrong type of parasite or worm or little critter, that the formula will not kill all of the eggs at one time. So you start one week before the full moon. You go through three full moons, complete ones. You then end one week after the third full moon. And that should wipe out just about anything in there, including oh. eggs. Okay, so when you're uh, suggesting that people take half drop or full uh, three times a day, so that means what? They'll go through four bottles? Oh, I'd have to figure that no more than that. Because each one is good for two weeks. Three full moons, that's what, about 12, 13, 14 weeks. Three times four, 12 weeks, yeah. Six bottles at minimum, maybe seven, yeah? But it really works well. Now, years ago, quite a few years ago, I used to belong to a spiritual community. <clears throat> and a lot of the people went to India during that time. I never went. But the majority of them would come back sick, really sick. Parasite infections, all kinds of things. So we made up a kit and we sold it to them. And it had the vermifuge formula and a couple of other things in there. I'll tell you about that afterwards. And we sold it as a kit. And they were there usually for about 60 weeks. No kidding, and if this is God's truth, only one or two people got sick where before almost everybody would. Not only that, four or five people came back healthier than when they went from there. Mm -hmm. Now, we suggest if you are going out of the country to a third world country that has bad parasites, we suggest with the vermifuge you also do immunogen for your immune system and digestives for your digestion. We suggest the three of those together. If you're in the country here and you go, hey, I got a worm or something, you really won't need those. But if you're going out of the country, I would take it and start a minimum of one week before you're going to leave the country and continue for a minimum of one week when you're back, just to cover everything mm -hmm. and see how you do. People do very, very, very well. Yeah. So the only thing, as I mentioned, excuse me, we used to sell this not over the counter. And we had to take something out from this to satisfy FDA qualifications. So it is no longer works for schistosomiasis which is that horrible little snail in Africa that gets in your liver. So we used to tell people it worked for schistosomiasis, but we had to take the herb out because we can't put it in over the counter. So if anybody remembers the product, it no longer works for the African snails in the liver. So okay. I just wanted to that. Any, any other exceptions that, that you can think of? Or? I know. No, we used to correct it for that because we had a lot of people that went to Africa. Uh -huh. uh, but we can't put it in there anymore. Huh. Well, aren't they generous with us, those beautiful regulators? Well, actually, there's a reason for it. It's uh -huh. stronger and you take too much. You can get really sick. I see. All but right. I actually agree with it. But I, I just wanted to mention that because it was outstanding. It used to be able to do that. Okay. So vermifuge. No point buying just one bottle. You're going to have to buy six. What's that? I say no point buying just one bottle of vermifuge. You, you will have to buy six and put yourself through the full course. Yeah, yeah. With that, um, like I said, though, make sure you have parasites or worms. Works for tapeworms and works for all kinds of worms like that. And things very nice all right good so the other new product that we are introducing uh is called male tone yes is that how you pronounce it yes male tone 
<laughs> That's uh, tonic for the man, yes? Exactly. It would be, for women, the counterpart would be she meant PMS. If you are older and entering menopause, it would be uh, menoese. So we have a formula. This has been around for many years. It just never got on the list to get out. We've upgraded this thing umpteen times. Okay. I'm not sure why. It just seems to always be upgraded. So the last upgrade on it was really wonderful. Um, so this is how this works. This does several things. Let's talk about the prostate. Okay, boys, we all got prostates. We all want them to stay healthy. Now, we often hear about what's called PSA. PSA is a level that is utilized by the medical profession to test and ascertain the levels of the chemistry and the health of your uh, prostate gland. Now, when a PSA level is too high, it means, unfortunately, that the person who is being tested for that and is high could be getting closer to having cancer. High PSA levels can produce cancer. There are natural, excuse me, there are allopathic remedies for that, but most of them are fairly drastic. So it's nice to stay out of that. So the first thing that male tone does is it very effectively helps to lower PSA levels on that. Now, importantly, there can often, and I do say often here with a big line under it, often there can be infections, low-grade infections or worse. Now, there is something that happens in diagnosis with men, which is different with women. Women, doctors have no problem with diagnosing uterine cancer, endometriosis, all these kinds of very distinct problems. Now, the, a the AMA was wondering years ago, why are so many men at that time dying of prostate cancer? Okay, like it was an agent. You know, every time you turn around, somebody's dying of prostate cancer. Well, why is that happening? Because women with uterine cancer and endometriosis are being treated. Well, the reason was that the doctors, most of them who were neurologists who take care of male doctors are men themselves. They cannot emotionally handle the thought of another man having cancer of the prostate and they would miss the diagnosis. And that was happening for years and years. Well, they got that straightened up. So I'm encouraging guys in our age group, my age group here, Martin younger than me, get your prostate checked out, guys. You should have it at least once a year. It could save your lives on that. So, okay, so you're saying that uh, the uh, prostatitis, the uh, inflammation in the prostate, is uh, something that could be actually reduced with this formula, yeah? Well, prostatitis would be different than prostate cancer, of course. That would just mean inflammation, but yes. Now, a lot of that inflammation leads to a couple of things. One is frequent urination. That's where, hey guys, you're in the kitchen, you wash your hands. Oh my God, you barely make it into the bathroom. You have to pee so bad. Or you wake up two or three times in the middle of the night. Very common for guys my age, I'm 71, for that to happen. But that also could be a sign of a weak prostate or a low infection. Now, if the infection is strong enough, you're going to really want to adjunct with the immunogen formula for that. While this is very good for prostate infections, when they are strong enough, you go in great guns and you take care of that. So I'm encouraging that to occur and for that to piggyback together with that. Now, the other thing that happens besides the frequent urination, oh yeah, sometimes when a guy's done, he can still drip a bit. That helps take care of that problem also too with it when they're done urinating. Mm. But what happens then is with a low-grade infection, prostatitis as we're talking about, or with prostate, it affects, for gentlemen, their erections. Mm. Now, this does not take the place of Viagra, okay? If you have a real 
problem with ED erection or dysfunction, this will help with the infections and clear that up. But if it's because of very low hormones, extremely low, it will help to some degree, but you might still need to take a medication for that, for um, ED to help out with. But mild cases of that, it's done very nice to it. Okay, so there's something in the formula that helps to raise the testosterone level? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, that was one of our newer upgrades that we built in, I think, two times ago. For okay. some reason, formula, we do very well with it in practice. Uh, guys really like it a lot. It says it's a wonderful upgrade. Okay. So this is something that uh, men should be taking on a consistent basis, yeah? like. On, you, sorry. Well, I'm trying to figure out how to suggest they use it. Is it like ah, take, it. take three bottles and you're done or take it ongoing? Or? It's going to depend on the guy. You know, a younger man with less of an infection would need less of that. Usually something like this, the tonic herbs for reproductive organs are always a long-term usage. Same thing with the Shemen PMS in the meadowies. It's not going to be a few weeks. We're talking months. The reason is these particular organs, when they deplete, they really deplete, and they are not easy to build the nutrients up again in those. So usually the reproductive um, formulas, they're more long-term to really get the full effect from it. Now, if you go, hey, I just kind of have this prostate infection, we just might take it for five or six weeks that clears it up. But generally, we suggest people, if they've had a long-term infection, men or women, with your respective um, formulas, is that they take them for extended periods of time to really get the results. Okay. Great. So, boys, if, yeah. you're, if you're going to the bathroom too often, or if you're having a hard time getting there before you start dribbling, this is the thing for you. Now, this does not mean you have to be 70 years old like me. You can see this with children. You see young boys sometimes now with uh, prostate infections and things like that. All right. So I guess if somebody's trying to uh, become a father and is having a bit of a difficulty uh, with the with the process, this would be uh, improving their performance as well, right? Yes. In fact, Dr. Christopher, who was one of the gentlemen who really got modern herbs underway, would always talk about men and women should for three, a minimum of three months, do a formula like this before they begin to conceive to make sure the reproductive organs are very healthy. So that would be our versions would be male tone and Shiman PMS. Okay. Great. Thank you. Okay, so now we have one other product that we haven't talked about yet and should introduce, and that's Organilax. Okay. Now, that formula has been around since the first year of practice. Uh, one of the biggest things when I started 40 something years ago was bowel cleansing. You don't hear as much about it these days, but bowel cleansing was one of the main keystones of every program that you would do. There were wonderful books like uh, Dr. Walker did a wonderful book on bowel cleansing. That used to be the Bible. That mm -hmm. Walker, he lived to be like 105 or 106. Mm -hmm. God, he was on the roof of his house fixing it. It was 102 fell off. Yeah, I remember the first the first ever book that I got involved with was Bernard Jensen's uh, yes. Health Through Bowel Management. Yes, got a copy myself of that book. Yeah. But they're wonderful. So this formula goes way, 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 way back. And I have to tell you, I don't think we've really done much of anything to change it. It was pretty much perfect the first time. But like the stress ease when we were talking about that, why didn't I do this 10 or 15 years ago but this on the market with it? So there's a million of them on the market, so many bowel products. I call this a best of show, which means 
I can't say that it's better than everybody else's, but it sure is as good as everybody else's. Mm -hmm. They've used this for years. Now, this is what's known as a tonic formula. Tonic formulas are very important because what they do, they do not stimulate. You have to be very careful with working with the bowels that you don't do a stimulating formula for chronic constipation. If you do, when you're done with it and the person stops it, guaranteed they will be constipated. Now, because of the fact that their body has dependency upon a formula that makes them go to the bathroom. And without it, they're not. So tonic means that the herbs have the propensity and the capacity to go into the cells and feed them with huge high amounts of their native nutrients. Now, what that does is it strengthens them. So, for example, we have an herb in here called Cascara Sagrada. Now, that's not its Latin name on it. Uh, it's Rondus Perusiana. I love these Latin names. But this is a tonic herb for chronic constipation. So this is a great story behind there. It comes from South America. So the, the native folks would use it in South America. Now, you have to let it, and when you pick it off the tree, it's green, it's a bark. You have to let it sit there for three or four months. And what happens is it breaks down and oxygenates. If you don't, it's a very extreme cathartic. And you will have unbelievable amounts of projectile diarrhea. Terribly. So the story behind it is the conquistadores, okay, those terrible people came to South America and began to conquer. Well, they wanted their medicines. So what they did was they gave them green cascara sagrada bark to get even with them for all the horrible things that they did. So in the herbal field, it's this hysterical joke about giving these really wicked people, okay, these terrible streaming cases of that for being rotten human beings and using that. So there's always this funny story around Cascara Sagrada. And the joke is, make sure that it's always sat for a while before you use it. So there's that story. Turkey rhubarb in there helps to tone the small intestines. So as a tonic, the more you take it, the more it strengthens your digestive tract, and especially the body's ability. Now, this is another formula, Martin, that you take for an extended period of time. Chronic constipation takes a while to clear up. Mm -hmm. Not only is there their impacted fecal matter that's in there for years and years and years with most people, but those peristaltic muscles are very weak. Now, the formula feeds the peristaltic muscles and the nerve endings, enabling then the formula to empower those cells in the body to actually work stronger and better to eliminate uh, and give us a healthier body. To me, a good bowel program is still a keynote and the basis for all good healings when they're to that extreme. Mm -hmm. So this formula would be recommended for people whose bowel is slow Yes, it it wouldn't be advisable for somebody whose transit time is too short or is you know, because it's tonic. Guess what? It works on both. Aha! Uh -huh. It works on either chronic constipation or chronic diarrhea. Chronic diarrhea, you do not give the half an eye dropper three times a day. Okay, that you normally would. You use much smaller doses, six to eight drops four or five times a day, and that will tonify the bowels. Now, chronic diarrhea, what's the words I wanted? Oh, sometimes only liquid matter even comes out. That's the worst form of constipation when that happens, because it means that the bowels are so clogged, only liquid matter can get through. So it's very important that people have to drink enough water when they're doing a bowel problem. Very well. And I bet you've got wonderful probiotics for them, which I love to see probiotics when people are doing extensive programs. Yeah, and we have a very good product to go with that. So okay. our probi probiotic category is well 
well populated with whatever you need, whether it's for a child or an adult or. Wonderful. Yep. Biotics. Great. Okay, then, Organolax yes. to strengthen the uh, performance of your elimination or okay. to, to tonify would be the word. The words you want. One last note. If you're having liver difficulties, add digestees to it. Okay. Digestee, digest ease LG, yeah. right? Yes, exactly. Whatever. LG, I don't know if people get it, but liver and gallbladder is the LG, right? Yeah. Well, you know, the old days, everything was like, that was just called uh, Barbary LG. Everything used to have the name of the formula and initials after it. So uh -huh. names were always a bit tricky. So try to get the name saying what it is without stepping on the laws and going too far in describing something, you know. Yeah, we're not. Yeah, we're not supposed to make a medical claim that we can clear a medical condition. What we can do is we can promote health yes. and strength of the organs. Yes, indeed, this is wonderful. Well, a few more minutes on a product that you have introduced recently, and that's the Voice Ease. Voice Ease. So that's how we got this. So here we have people, myself included time that we're having yeah i was in fact quite horrified when uh, i first heard from you when you lost your voice i thought oh my gosh this is going to be very challenging so it was so encouraging to hear you to call me later and says look i have invented this formula and then i said to martin do you think we should market it martin what do you think <laughs> Well, there are quite a number of people who could use a formula that uh, is going to improve their ability to speak clearly. Now, for me, mine was from long COVID. Is what had happened in life. Life life was life. Life was life. Except I don't think you could understand it quite as well. So, Martin and I are talking, and he's going, you know, we really can't video anything when you like this. So we went to the drawing board and this is actually based on a um, Native American remedy that I got from some folks from the Lakota tribe on that actually told me about the basis of it. And then I extrapolated that out and then worked with it, but it's very simple. What it does is the essential oils. Now we did not put essential oils in there, but the herbs in there, our high in essential oils. Our tincturing method really grabs those very nicely. I am so pleased. By the way, I should mention with the tincture, we use three different tincture ingredients. We use great alcohol, distilled water, and vegetable glycerin to make sure we grab everything. That's how OCD I am. Most people use one or two. I use all three. But that's why we get a lot of the alkaloids that we do. From there. So basically, the voice is, it eases out your voice with it. This is what brought my voice back. After I got out of the hospital, I was actually worse, Martin, uh, than when I met with voice thing. For that, from the treatment they had done, they scraped my um, onyx. Yeah. Actually, uh, and they're doing a procedure. So when I got out, I was actually writing notes. I'm not kidding, and typing on my uh, iPhone. So I came home, started this. Within about five or six days, I was starting to talk. And then I spoke with you a couple of weeks later. And while it's not 100%, I call it 95% not out most of the time. Yeah. And I'm talking a lot. <clears throat> For days, it's back to normal perfectly. Now, we've used this extensively with people with um, long COVID and with COVID, with it. If you have just a regular sore throat, our Song of the Nightingale throat and chest syrup is what you want to use for that. But if your voice is lost because of COVID, because of anything in here, that will help the voice. Now, if you have a chest infection, this is not for that. 
it's for the voice. For the chest infections, you would use a mutagen, and you would piggyback that with our song of the nightingale, throat and chest syrup again. But this was so extreme, where I didn't talk for months. It was literally months. Martin keeps going, are you better yet? I said, I keep thinking I'm going to be, but it's not happening. Then with this, it was a matter of days. Then I was in the hospital for those three and a half weeks. Then I come out and I'm back where I was with the voice. Started it again and it's been great. Yeah. I mean, yeah. people may uh, wonder why is your voice not perfect at the moment? But the fact is that the difference between where it was and where it is now is staggering. I would call it remarkably successful. Well, tell people why. When I got brought to the hospital, I had septic pneumonia in both lungs. I had double pleural infusion, effusion, excuse me, which is where these sacs have built up and collapsed along. Uh -huh. okay. There were some other things too. Now, you're going to ask me, what were you thinking? I actually wasn't on that. I really, really wasn't. And I was in denial. I really have to say that was my fault. What happened? It was not the fault of the products. I kept going. I'm fine. And I was working through. And I basically collapsed myself and overworking. So my lifestyle has dramatically changed since my wife didn't leave me over it. All so right. But I actually almost died. They did not expect me to go through. I was so sick with that. So I got out of the hospital four weeks ago. Guys, look how great I am. It was just four weeks ago with that. So I feel I'm doing extremely well. Well, thank, thank God. Or thank medical care or thank <laughs> clear thinking. Now, I want to mention one thing that happened here. They were going to do an operation. They were calling, it's called intubating. They were going to put a tube down my throat and they were going to clear out those huge pockets of well, infection. Well, they couldn't intubate me. The doctor had been doing it 15 years. I have autoimmune disease into each other arm. It wouldn't fit. My body inside is shaped different. So we came up with something because it was five minutes that was killing me. They put tubes in me. We worked on this together. Then they put in a liquid fibrolytic enzyme, which burnt horribly to dissolve the fibrin that was destroying my lungs. Uh. It could not work properly. We piggybacked it with voluminous amounts of fibroids, and it worked. Uh -huh. Okay? The stuff that came out of me was amazing. I just had another x-ray last week. I'm doing so well. But it's all now using the fibroids. So I have always postulated that my herbs, the way they're designed, would piggyback with medicine and save lives. Number one, right here. It saved my life. Now, I've been on the Bible for a long time, but the scan was fabulous. And they had never done this before. It was all pure. Gosh, Hail Mary, and it worked. But it didn't really work until I started large amounts of the Bible formula. Orally talking, one full eye barber three times a day. It's a double amount, so I call that larger. But that's what saved my life. So what a beautiful expression that allopathic medicine and natural medicine did this. But that's what it's all about. And that's why I talk a lot about that, Martin, because I'm one of the only people I know that worked in both ways. I got years in traditional medicine and the rest of my time. And, um, Natural. So in the Air Force, I was a wartime paramedic, but I also worked operating my own clinics and all kinds of stuff. So after the service, I worked as a paramedic, um, operating room tech, actually in the scrub rooms, and I worked as a physician's assistant, all along what I learned in the service with that. So the training has been wonderful, but to see it put together, it was my dream come true, and it saved my body. It's good. Good to have you back. Quite a story. All right.
dangerous. Okay, Elijah, thank you very much for sharing the personal aspect of it and the, uh, the bravery that you just let show that personal vulner vulnerability and just willingness to let it be. Well, thank you, Mark. Thank you very much. Give yeah. my life a safe place for all of us. Okay, thank you, everyone. This is Martin Patella for Life Enthusiast Podcast. You can find us at life-enthusiast.com and you can phone us at 866-543-3388. Elijah Free, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Martin.